Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for mid-October 2019, Full Celtic Cross. As you know, it will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, but I hope to reach the majority. I'm asking for new energies, positive energies, or hopefully positive energies for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what the new energies are. The beginning energy, let's see what it is. Hopefully I don't get erupt interrupted. I've been getting interrupted like crazy. The sun in reverse, you're not quite happy on something. It's not that you're miserable, miserable. It's just that you're not quite happy in what's going on around you with the sun in the reverse. Current environment is the hermit. The hermit is in the upright. The hermit is about someone who is thinking intensely thinking about how to get through something, what their next move is. It's all kind of things, but you're thinking intensely. It's not like you're not talking to people, but you're thinking about what has been going on around your life lately and in the past, you know? What's crossing it is you're trying to gain a victory with something with the Six of Wands. That's what you're thinking about, trying to gain a victory. What's crowning you, your goal is a page of swords. For some of you, you could be dealing with a younger type air sign, but not necessarily, maybe even someone young at heart. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or somebody with messages, or maybe you want to send a message that's straight to the point, or waiting on one. Foundation is a lover situation in the upright. And I'm going to clarify these cards. You know, once I start clarifying, it changes the story up. Plus, I'm going to give you a three-card love reading at the end of this. So, you know, stick with me. In the past, you were thinking about walking away from a situation, or somebody else was with the Eight of Cups in reverse. In the near future, you've got the King of Cups in reverse. This could be you, you know, you know. Or it could be another water sign. Or someone whose emotions are not quite the way they want them to be. Maybe they're upset. Maybe something happened. But you will be dealing with the King of Cups energy in reverse in the very near future. And I'll find out what it is. As soon as I clarify. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is to conserve your strength. Because you, your energy may be low. Some of you may be um, feeling a little under the weather. Maybe you have been you know, sick or something. Also, you know, you're just low on energy. What is coming towards you? Queen of Cups. I don't think it's you. I think it's another type of water sign, possibly, or someone who's offering emotional support for cancer. Your hopes and fears is Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you're afraid work will be too hard or not get enough work with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. But you get justice in the end. I'm seeing these cards a lot. doesn't matter how much I shuffle. And I even tap on them. You know, you hit them three times. Clear the energy of the last reading, always. I did that while I was meditating on your sign. Do it with all the cards. But let's go back to the beginning. You got the Hermit in the upright with the eight, no, the six of wands, excuse me, the six of wands crossing it, which is the victory card. So you're trying to gain a victory. You're thinking... Um, intensely on this. So the Hermit in the upright with the Six of Wands crossing it. Why are you there? What's going on? I need another card or at least two cards for this. Two cards. Temperament. Trying to keep, regain balance and independence and gain with the Nine of Pentacles. So you're trying to regain all this, you know, your balance and like I said, your independence. Gain with the Nine of Pentacles. Oftentimes, that's what it's called in different decks. It's crowning you or your goal, Page of Swords. I told you what that's all about, but I need two more cards. So Page of Swords, two cards, please. For what crowns Cancer or their goal. I'm trying to think of what is going on here. Yeah, you're thinking about taking a new beginning or somebody is with you or somebody around you is, but you don't know if you're getting wish fulfillment in it. You're unsure of it. And you got the fool card. That's like, some, like I said, someone taking a new beginning, a leap of faith. And someone is waiting on a message or with, it's not, it could be that someone's will, ready to do so. You know, they're willing to do, go out on a limb. Now, the foundation is the lovers. The lovers is the, you know, like I said, the foundation. <clears throat> I've got to stop repeating myself. But why are you there? 
for cancer <clears throat> as the foundation. Lovers, why are you there for cancer as the foundation? Hmm. Someone's trying to resurrect the situation with a lover, kind of to do with the Queen of Swords or someone who is very intelligent. If it is, it could be like a, you know, like I said, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It could be just someone who, like I said, who is intelligent, um, great with words. You know, they're they're like scholars almost to me. Mature people go to them for advice because they always get a straight up answer and an honest one. But the lovers is there. Someone's trying to resurrect a situation with the death card in reverse. Maybe they thought that something, you know, didn't work out in the past. And maybe they're thinking, well, maybe I should revisit this situation. Now, in the past, we got the Eight of Cups. Maybe someone did walk away. Or maybe someone's thinking of not walking away. I need another card, at least two. So Eight of Cups in reverse in the past position. Why are you there for cancer? What's going on? What is going on? I need two cards. Yeah, someone's thinking about... It's not telling me much. It says someone is thinking about not walking away. They're unable to move on from, you know, troubled waters in the past over a tower situation, something they weren't expecting. But they're unable to walk away from it, even though things changed for cancer or the people around them. And now, like I said, cancer has been thinking about how to regain a victory or to gain one and regain balance and more than enough to satisfy them in life. Some of you cancers, like I said, may be sending a message to somebody and trying to take a new leap of faith and resurrect a situation or someone wants to do this with you. Now in the very near future, oops, got the hangman there again, I'm trying to pop out. That is in uh, the upright. So it could be that you're having trouble in some ways with your with the emotion sense in a lover situation. And you're hanging around or someone's hanging around for you. So King of Cups in reverse, the hangman in the upright. Why are you there in the near future for cancer? Someone doesn't want to fight anymore and they want to offer a passionate new beginning. Because you got the Five of Swords there in reverse. Someone doesn't want to argue. Ace of Wands is in the upright. A passionate new beginning. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. You got the strength in reverse. It could be the universe saying conserve your strength because, you know, maybe you went through a lot. You know, maybe you're exhausted. So, strength in reverse. Why are you there for cancer as a possible future outcome and, or an advice from the universe? Who wants to come out? I'm going to let it this time. Strength in reverse. It says don't make decisions yet. Don't walk away just yet. Even though, you know, you feel like there's not a victory there and you're trying to gain a victory. Don't, don't walk away yet from situations until everything has settled. You know, sometimes people walk away too early from something. But, you know, I hate to say that to people, even if the, that's the universe's advice. Because sometimes people have a good reason to walk away. But it's saying that even though you didn't get a good victory, and even though you're exhausted, don't make a choice yet because you got to let your emotions settle. You know, because you may be thinking, I'll just move away because sometimes that's what the Six of Swords, someone's thinking about that. Um, maybe it's not time yet for whatever reason. Now, the outside environment is the Queen of Cups is what is coming towards you, and it's beyond your control. You have control over what you do, but the outside environment is not so easy. But they are coming towards you, and this, this situation, this person, whatever, is in the upright. So Queen of Cups in the upright, why are you there? For Cancer is what's coming towards them. Why are you there? Someone from the past that's not happy with their own situation is coming towards you. Like I said, it could be a water sign or whose motions are sound. This is someone you had um, fond memories of. Now, they, th this may not have happened yet. This is like an outside environment that's coming towards you. So this could happen in mid-October, a little bit after that, you know, towards November, where somebody's walking towards you from the past, and they didn't have a happy home either whatever was going on they weren't 100 percent happy they didn't get their happily ever after where they were and they may be coming towards you to visit to talk 
to do something. It'll be different for everybody, you know, but I do see this type of watery type energy. And like I said, it could be a water sign or someone whose emotions are really sound and um, very supportive. Now, your hopes and fears is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're afraid something won't work out, possibly, or you're afraid you won't get work. It could be all kind of things with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So Eight of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there for cancer and the hopes and fears? Why are you there? Afraid won't get messages, and you're afraid you that you know you, you're afraid uh, you know your intuition won't be spot on. You're afraid you don't know what to do. You're afraid um, maybe even something will come out that you're not expecting. But I'm thinking the high priest is always very difficult to read, especially next to these cards. But when I see somebody with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands in reverse, it's like you're afraid emotions where something won't come in like whether it be communications work for some of you you'd be afraid of you know your gut instinct won't be right when you make a decision all kind of things it also could be with the high priestess when they're out in the uprights like secrets you know intuition when it's in reverse someone doesn't have secrets come out sometimes or intuition is wrong you know now, in the end, you get justice. Whatever you're doing, you get justice. Whatever you're, whatever is going on in Cancer's life, whether it's lovers, money, whatever it is, justice comes to Cancer. So justice in the upright. Why are you there for Cancer in the very end? And then I'll give the three-card love reading, like I said. Why are you there? I need two cards. And we'll sum this up, too. Why are you there? Page of Pentacles in reverse. You get justice over something that didn't come in so justice in the upright page of pentacles in reverse while you're there for cancer in the very end yeah and blessings that you get you get it justice over something that didn't have growth something that did not come in that you were expecting you finally get justice with that knight of cups the ending energy is a really great omen. I don't know if you can see that, the way I got the camera. Knight of Cups. I love the Knight of Cups. As I tell everybody, it is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Because any time I get that in a spread, it's a good omen. And it's in the upright. So something good is coming towards you of the emotional nature. Could be another water sign, but I like to see this as a good omen of things coming to you that are positive, that are sound, something that you will definitely love. Now, as I said before, you're thinking towards yourself. It's not that you're not talking to people. It's just your, your, um, your deepest thoughts you're keeping to yourself of what you're wanting in life. And it's temperance and gain and things of that nature. And you want a victory. And you may send a message or be getting a message of someone wanting to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're wanting to take a leap of faith or someone else is. But you do not know if you'll get wish fulfillment in that. Could be a lover situation. It tries to erect or resurrect itself. Could have to do with the queen of swords. I told you what the queen of swords could be. In the past, things weren't so pleasant. But I see someone having trouble moving on from a tower event. I don't know if it's a lover situation, home situation. It doesn't matter. But something did happen and left things changed. You will be dealing either with yourself and emotions or somebody else where you're waiting around and kind of suffering. Even though I think the beginning energy was you wanting to come out of this, you're still trying. You don't want to argue and you want a passionate new beginning in life. The universe says, um, think clearly before you walk away or make any decisions on what you're wanting to, wanting to do because your energy is zapped. What is coming towards you is a possible another water sign or someone's who emotions that are positive and bringing support. Someone from the past with six of cups, all, almost all the way to childhood possibly, because that's what it means, you know, nostalgia or um, someone from the past, like even from childhood, like I said. But it, it's like they're not having problems or, or, you know, let me rephrase that. It's like they may be having problems, you know. They, they're they coming towards you or they're maybe offering you support because you weren't getting your happily ever after. And maybe that's why they're coming towards you with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You, you're afraid things won't work out. You're afraid of messages. You're afraid of hidden things or your, your gut intuition not telling you things are right. But at the end, you get your justice over situations that didn't come in and blessings that didn't come in. Now let's get three cards for Cancer, for a love reading. It may tell us more from this reading or give us totally something different for a love reading, you know. 
three cut three cards for cancer don't forget about that knight of cups like i said good omen why are you there for cancer three cards please for cancer three cards for cancer let your friends help you the people that care about you help you well that's nice Make sure there's chemistry with whoever you're going to be involved with. There's there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I think whoever's coming towards you that's offering you support, even from the past. I know people hate that here, that word, from the past. But that's what the Six of Cups means. You know, I'm just telling you. They're coming towards you. There may be, look for chemistry or there may be some definite chemistry there. So this may be a friend coming towards you, like I said, from the past. And you may find out that you click with them. Stay optimistic. Don't get all down in life. Don't let those fears overtake you. I've been getting that for a lot of the signs. Because they're, they're down and out. They feel like love will never be there. They feel like, you know, I've been through this before. I don't want to go through this before. But it says stay optimistic about your love life. Because I think something's coming towards you. Something positive. But you are, in your way, not trusting situations. Just like all the other signs. They're just not trusting situations. Because it was a pretty hard, you know... Pay, you know, hard energy out there for everybody, especially for cancer, cancer and Capricorns. But you got a good omen coming, you know, coming in. Someone is offering you love and support and the things that you love with the Knight of Cups. For some of this, this could be you, but I don't think so. I think it's just pleasure is coming in finally. Just don't, you know, get too in your head with the hermit, you know, get out there and explore and, and invite people in. I know you're wanting a passionate new beginning with some of you, but at the same time, you're not wanting to fight with people. So someone is coming towards you, like I said, it's up to you whether you accept them, but you do get justice in the end and you get a good omen. I'm going to let that go and I will talk to you later, Cancer. Bye.